What's going on guys? This is Carporn Kings and welcome to the vlog. So um, what we're gonna be doing today is that we're gonna be waxing the Mustang and I'm gonna try to teach some of the people that don't know how to wax the Mustang and hopefully I'm not doing it wrong which I'm pretty sure I'm not doing it wrong <laughs> but yeah so I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to wash the Mustang again and you know because you want to start off with like a clean base of like the mustang uh, before you start putting wax on it and yeah so let's just uh, go and dive in right in on it and let's go do it also a quick note i actually finally bought one of these and this is a microfiber wash whip mitt i bought this for at walmart for i believe it was like a dollar fifty or maybe maybe it was two dollars but yeah it's not much uh, I finally bought it because I'm tired of using my towels and potentially scratching my car. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to be doing that and yeah, so this was about a dollar. The wax I'm going to be using is this wax right here. This is the wax I'm going to be using to wax the car. Um, I particularly think getting wax in the can is, well, okay, it's like a dollar more I think, but you get more with it. Uh, the ones that come in the bottles that are like a liquid, um, I mean, it, it's just kind of personal preference. Um, I use this brand. This is like a brand I've always just used. Uh, my dad got me on that brand, on this brand, so I always use this brand. Uh, I haven't really tried any other brands, so I wouldn't really know if like if this brand is better. I just know that my dad said that hey, like this is a good brand to use. So this is the brand I've always just been using. Um, so yeah, uh, I normally get the one in the can uh i just noticed that there's more in the can so it lasts me a lot longer and that's the reason why i get the ones in the can so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need to wash the car and that's what we're gonna be doing is just washing the car the reason why you want to wash the car is because that you can get scratches when you put the wax on and see i kind of have like some little bumps on there that need to come off like some like dirt and the dirt will ret scratch the car so that is the reason why that we have to rewash the car and make sure it's dry before we put on the wax. So I'm going to get done washing the car and I'm going to come back to you when the car is done being washed. So let's do this. All right, so now that the car is washed, basically you have to either wait for it to dry, or if you have like a chamois or something like that, all you gotta do is just uh, wipe it down until it's dry, and then you'd be uh, ready to start waxing from then. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go dry this and kind of go from there. I'm gonna see you guys right back after I get done drying this. All right, so what I'm using to dry my car is gonna be this right here. I bought this at Walmart for, I believe it was $10. And yeah, so basically it's kind of like, I think it's basically like leather and it just absorbs the water. So that's what I'm gonna be using. And yeah, so after I get done drying this, go from there and we're gonna start waxing. It's amazing, after I dry my car, how many other dents and imperfections I start noticing. And I start looking back here and I'm like, wait, I don't remember seeing this. And I'm like, huh. So I follow this right here and then I see the dent right here and I'm like, dude, so something happened when I was at work and apparently I didn't know because I work at, I basically work for a grocery store and after I saw that happening now, I'm just like, great dude, I'm like gonna have to park my car and not even in the same parking lot. You know, it's like insane, but I mean, you know, it's something I can do about it. So <sighs> sad life of working there, I guess. But yep, so the car is dry and now we're gonna start waxing it. So yep, let's just go from there. A tip when you buy one of these and after you get done using it, make sure you rinse it off with water and uh, try to get all the water out, but you want it like damp. So yeah, that's a good idea of when you get one of these, make sure it's kind of damp in there. And yeah, so that's a little tip. Yeah. 
All right, so before you start waxing your car, you're gonna need one of these pads. I have no idea what they were called again, but I remember I bought this thing for like, it came in a two pack and it was like, man, I think it was like, probably like two bucks. I bought it at like AutoZone. It's like $2 and it came in like a two pack and it's like this little like spongy thing and basically you're gonna take the wax, kind of rub it on there and then just kind of go from there. This is the towel to get off the wax. You just kind of like rub, uh, take off the wax and yeah. Um, this is like, I think it's like a microfiber towel and yeah, you just rub it on there and you take off the wax. So yeah, going from there and then the can. So let's just get on and ready to do this. So that's what the wax looks like and this was the wax. So we're going to be putting this in here and that's what we're going to do. And yeah, let's go from there. So once you get done with the hood, see how there's like a little spots that you can kind of see how like it's kind of dried like that. Actually, it kind of missed the spot. You want to get down every inch of that hood. <laughs> it's actually kind of amazing how much I missed up until I noticed it. So yeah, once you get done, you kind of want to go from there. Kind of make sure you do the hood, do the hood scoop, and from there. Actually, there's another spot I missed. Wow, I'm like literally almost drunk doing this. <laughs> okay, so yeah, but you can tell the difference of what it's dried and what isn't. So once it's dry you know you just gotta wait a little bit actually i might start working my way on the other side of the car so i'm just kind of going from here grabbing a little bit of this from down here get it nice and good i'm gonna start to work my way down the fender so applying it you want to go stuff like that you want to rub it all in you know just keep on going in a circular motion get the wax on you know kind of like karate kid wax on wax off <laughs> That's actually like a really good movie of mine that I like. Always end up getting grease on that. Hold up, wait, wait, wait. See, I kind of am afraid to get, I know I screwed it up already. <laughs> yep, nothing I can do about it, but. Yeah, so that's like gonna be done with the fender. So yeah, once we get done with that, then we go from there. So that, I mean, that pretty much kind of just shows you how to do it. Taking off the wax, it's gonna be like this. Pick the towel, and you wanna take the circle of motion, and you just wanna kinda of rub it in, like how you're doing it, kinda of like that, and see how the wax is coming off. And it'll be a little bit harder taking it off, but you can kinda of tell the wax is kinda of giving you some resistance, and you just kinda of like take it off, basically. And that pretty much kinda of goes, shows you how to take it off. There we go. Okay, and that's how you wax a car. Um, see how the hood is a little bit different? It took about 15 minutes to try and get all that wax off. So about, it probably takes about an hour to uh, wax the whole car. And yeah, so that's pretty much how you wax the car. Um, just let me know if you guys have any more intro any questions. Uh, just let me know on that. And yeah, you can kind of tell a difference between the two um, because you know that fender is going to be waxed. That one will not. So yeah. Uh, you know, like and, sub and subscribe. Let me know if you guys want to see more things. You know, comment, let me know. Uh, you know, for future videos. And yeah, uh, just let me know. If you guys like this video, please hit a like and subscribe and let me know. All right, uh, this is Carport Kings, and thank you.